The comments under some of my videos can get so fucking outrageous that I feel like they deserve their own videos in a lot of cases. So today I'm going to be starting up a new segment, YouTube Comments with Etika. I planned on having a fancy ass intro, but I was too lazy to do it because I just wanted to get to it. Now, let's go to the YouTube comments of some of my videos. Here at YouTube, I'm gonna go to my channel, and then we are going to go to my latest video, which is this platoon video, where I asked you guys if you shared my opinions, or rather, not my opinions, rather, but just, you know, if you thought that the Wii U would be saved by Splatoon. So let's see what some of the comments are on this video. Um, we're gonna go down and just take a look at the newest ones for now. Let's see what you guys have to say in this thing. Okay, so. That Pixel Nacho says, if there's Nintendo fans without a Wii U and they haven't bought it, <laughs> bought it, wait, hold up, um, all right. If they haven't bought it, even with Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Pikmin 3s, all the titles, and I doubt Splatoon will make a difference to those Nintendo fans since they have no idea what it is. That's a sentiment shared by a lot of people. A lot of people can agree. Um, in my opinion, by Rakim, maybe if Nintendo made less cheesy commercials, then it would probably appeal to more people who every now and then see the game. The commercial was pretty cheesy, but I felt like it was cute. It was appealing in a lot of ways, you know? Um, let's see, I'm gonna skip through a couple. Um, Senior Chari says, well, I can care less about Splatoon, but Nintendo already has my money because I bought a 3DS to play Smash. Then my friend bought a Wii U so we can play Smash again. And then I traded in my old 3DS and bought the new 3DS so I can play Smash some more. So it's quite clear that there's a big majority of people out there who only care about Smash Brothers on the Nintendo consoles. Um, Blue Blur says, Splatoon will sell death decently, without a doubt, but it's not what will save the Wii U. Zelda U will be taking that role. Nobody can resist a new Zelda game. We also got Smash Brothers still. Zelda, of course, is a very strong franchise and it will definitely bring in some buyers, but enough to save the console at this point? I doubt it, even though Nintendo feels like it will. Um, seriously, people think the new Star Fox or F-Zero will save the Wii U by Darth Vader likes Green Day 1992? What the fuck? Okay, that name just totally threw me off, but um, I am sorry, but those franchises are not as popular as Zelda, Mario, or Smash, and this is coming from a big F-Zero fan who does want a new game from both of those franchises. We all can agree, you know, it won't pull in those numbers like that. For now, let's actually look at the top comments, because some of those might be interesting. Let's see here. So Ruben Moran says, yo, and by the way, this is first reaction to all these comments here, so you know, I didn't see any of these um, beforehand. Yo, that Splatoon theme song makes me orgasm every time I hear it. Org orgasm? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> orgasm. Uh, I, I think it's terrible. Oh yeah, seriously. That messed up Lenny face though. Yeah, wait. It's not messed up. It's okay. Um, let's see here. Oh wait, wait, hold on. His um his avatar is a little bit. But I mean, hey, you know, maybe if this is the first attempt at drawing, not a bad first attempt. A lot better than anything I can muster up. Um, you mean splatak theme? Wait, what? You're a kid now. You're a squid now. You're a kid now. Wait, what the fuck does that mean? Let's keep moving. Um, I like to make sure I look good on camera. Um, bitch, please, you're not even wearing pants. It's, maybe that can be part of it, you know what I mean? <laughs> that, I mean, looking good and feeling good go hand in hand in some scenarios. I do both at the same time. So what? I mean, really, I'm comfortable. Maybe you're not comfortable, but at least I'm comfortable. <laughs> okay, I can live with Etika without pants. I can live in Etika. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of shit I'm talking about here. Like, this is ridiculous. This is why I love these comments too. You guys can be really informative and open-minded. Open, like, you know, you guys can really be kind of like intelligent in the comments, and at the same time, we always have that that same perversion going on there. It's it's fucking hilarious. Um, but it does seem like fun title. What kind of grammar? Oh, was that me? Did I did I mess up? Um, do you even speak Etiquette? <laughs> yeah, I, I got my own language now. Can I get a Rosetta Stone subscription for Etiquen? <laughs> Gramer is good. <laughs> Gramer is good. Is your dick happening? Everyone's dick. <laughs> um, ZG says, as a matter of fact, if you guys want to come with me to see how serious I've been in upgrading all of my fucking gear, sure, Etika. Okay. Of course, of course, at this point now, everything would be taken out of context. Um, if Smash Wii U did not help, then it's not happening. And I actually strongly agree with Master Mewtwo here because I thought that Smash would kind of save the Wii U as well too. And while it definitely pulled in a lot of sales, it didn't save the console. And I feel like maybe part of the reason, although don't 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 go with my opinion here and you know kill me for it 100%. I feel like this opinion may be valid only a little bit, but maybe the fact that there was a 3DS version also hurt Smash Wii U sales. I don't know because a lot of people said, okay, if there's one on the 3DS, then I can get that one without having to get the Wii U. And you know. How many of you guys out there 
I'm not included anymore, but how many of you guys out there have Smash 3DS and a 3DS, of course, without Smash Wii U or Wii U? Um, I know that's definitely a larger number than a lot of people think. Tanuki TV says it's a good game, but it's not a system seller, though. Definitely can agree with you there. Um, Spoot, Spoof Tendo says, if it's going to save the Wii U, they probably should advertise it better than, you're a kid now, and you're a squid now. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Not with these horrible commercials. Damn right, man. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I agree with you guys wholeheartedly. I mean, I feel like a lot of us can share the same opinion that this game is definitely not going to push sales to the point where it'll make the Wii U, like, totally relevant out of nowhere. I mean, the Wii U is still relevant, but it's not going to save them sales, man. It just isn't. Uh, a couple more comments. Etiko, why do you wear no pants? I can't explain it, man. Like, it, it, it's hot in here. New York City gets really fucking bald hot. That's the best way I can cope. I apologize if any of you are put into a weird position uh, because he doesn't need them. Yeah, exactly, you see? I don't need pants when it's like 70, 80, 90 degrees outside. The Amiibos will most likely sell like crazy, but the actual game won't. It'll probably sell decently, but I think the lack of voice chat turned off a lot of people. Yeah, true that. As for saving the Wii U, I think the holiday season kind of recovered it. That didn't impact a lot, but both Smash and Mario Kart did sell pretty well. Very true. But if you want my honest predictions for the future, I think Xenoblade Chronicles X and Star Fox might save the Wii U this holiday season. Xeno, in general, as a series, does have a whole lot of accolades, you know? But I'm not sure where the sales numbers lie. I'm sure they were good, but... Hey, not enough to save a... But you know what, then again, it's not going to take one game to save a console. It's a, it's a collection of great titles, and on top of everything else, the marketing. I feel like the marketing is the most important part of making a console sell well, you know? Honestly, if Mario Kart 8 or Smash 4 couldn't save the Wii U, I don't think Splatoon could. And um, Spyro the Gerudo says, I don't worry about Splatoon. I know the game will sell well. Definitely, I feel like it will too, and it'll be a hit in the first weekend, but it's the reception of the Wii U that has killed the Wii U. Yeah, like I said, just mentioned, it's the marketing which usually makes or breaks the console. Some companies are going out of their way to distance themselves from the Wii U by including pre-order extras or DLC for their games on the Nintendo platform, by limiting the experience out of the box to convince, player, to convince um, gamers to buy the game on a different platform, or by not adding their game altogether. And um, yeah. Very interesting comments here. A lot of you guys share the same opinion. I didn't really see anybody who thought that the Wii U would be saved by Splatoon. Definitely won't be, but I did see a lot of people that do think that it will sell well, which I agree with. But, of course, that's up to us to decide when the game comes out. Um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. It'd be kind of funny if I made a reaction video to this reaction video in the comments. But I mean, I'll take you. <laughs> I'm not going to take care of you. Um, take care of yourself, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.